the early days when you and Johnny uh, trained together, then all, specifically about when you guys decided to part ways? Uh, we didn't decide to part ways. He just uh, he decided he was starting training with a different gym, and he moved to Texas. You know, so it was just a slow thing. But we trained, I think, for maybe a year or something like that, and uh, you know, it was a beneficial training relationship. And uh, you know, he helped me with my wrestling. He also helped me with the stand up, and. Uh, now we fight each other. He kind of intimated that it was because you guys started to know you might fight each other and that they had to separate you. Is that how you remember it? No, that's not really. There wasn't any concern. Back then he was fighting the WC and the, I was fighting UFC and at that time there wasn't any talk about merging the two uh, organizations. So that was never really a I mean, concern by that time. But I mean, of course it's always possible that we were fighting the same weight class. Martin, you said he taught you wrestling. Is that? you say that's a fair assessment? No, I think that's a pretty big uh, overstatement pushing the issue. I, I could wrestle before, uh, but he definitely she showed me some good good moves. You know, he's a he's a good wrestler. He's a two-time American champion, and uh, of course uh, I learned some good wrestling from him. But I, I know how to wrestle before that as well. Look at, um, when you look at Johnny's, Johnny's skill set from now to when you fought him, what, what areas do you think he's improved when you guys? Obviously, he's improved the striking a lot because when he started, he was very raw. I think he's still a little raw, but he's gotten a lot slicker and he's gotten a lot better. But he's, you know, most of all, he's just a heavy-handed hitter, you know. And uh, but of course, he's improved everywhere. You know, his, his wrestling was his was his biggest strength, and I think it still is. But he's got heavy hands to back it up. And he's got a pretty solid uh, jiu-jitsu game as well. He believes that his heavy his heavy hands will be the difference. Why won't why won't that be the difference? I can eat a good shot and I've proved that a lot in my fights. You know, of course I'm not planning on getting getting hit, but it's a fight. I'm sure I'm gonna get hit eventually, but I can eat a good shot. I'm not worried. I'll dish it right back. I know you said Martin in the past that you've been critical of being a bit of a slow starter. How do you how do you stop from doing that and, and, and be able to do sometimes what you do in the second round in the first round? I think it's a training mentality, you know I, I gotta be better at coming in um, starting hard right off the bat in the sparring rounds as well, you know, in training. Just going uh, going at it from, from the, from the get-go there, you know, because I used to be a real fast starter. I got a lot of first-round stoppage wins, and uh, somehow along the way I started to become a slow starter, but it's a mentality you can change in training.